Today we're going to be looking at a cheap little $20 generator. It's a uh, 750 watt peak two-stroke generator that I picked up locally. And it's a copy of the Yamaha ET650 two-stroke. Um, there's a lot of people selling these different wattages, but uh, basically the same unit. And in fact, you can download the Yamaha uh, workshop manual um, off of the internet as a PDF file and see basically how these things are put together. And I would be at all surprised if a lot of the Yamaha fits would bits would actually fit this thing. I know the full start mechanism will. Uh, on this one, it's, it's blown up inside. It's plastic rubbish basically inside the pull start mechanism. So. The MR one hopefully is a bit more solid, maybe they use metal, but this is packed up. 20 bucks for this, 40 bucks for a replacement pull start mechanism off the internet, if you want one, makes it a $60 generator. Makes it more than I want to spend on a little generator that you can buy new for about 130 So it's made up as poly. That's just the um, standard style, old style um, cylinder poly. It's just a aluminium cylinder with a blank end. It bolts up onto the crankshaft end uh, against the flywheel. You have to make up a tube type nut to get enough depth to get onto the thread because it steps into the end of the cylinder. This is actually part of a um, treadmill roller. And the bearing housing, I'm using that. But it's aluminium so it's light. And uh, provided you've got a lathe, uh, a small lathe of some sort, you can easily do these jobs make piston rings as I've shown in other videos on my, uh, my little Kawasaki which I've also got which was like that was an expensive one I mean that was $32 but this one's only 20 so she's cheap what can I say anyway does it go well we'll follow up and see now with these when you start them you always give a choke whether they're hot or cold strange situation for a hot engine but it needs choke to go so that's the way they build them. Okay, we should be in business. As you can see, it runs okay. It's going to be a bit noisy for the common street. Here you go. Turn it off before I gas myself. I have to do it in the shed because uh, it's a bit windy and noisy outside. But uh, even with ventilation, you don't want to run petrol motors inside for too long. So there you go. You can see she she runs okay and for twenty dollars. It's a bargain. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't done much work at all. And apparently, these little motors and these are quite solid and quite long lasting. But obviously, the, the pull start mechanism is pretty flimsy on these. So we do away with that and make yourself up a, a pulley for it for 20 bucks you've got one of the cheapest generators you're ever going to get and even though it's a two stroke um, it's quite okay for power tools and stuff like that these things put out pretty dirty electricity as you can see it was fluctuating quite a bit um, under no load a four stroke generator like my little Kawasaki which is the same sort of range of wattage the output on that is perfectly clean for a, for a non-filtered uh, generator, it's very, very good. Uh, you could actually probably run electronics off it if you wanted to. Um, they have run a laptop off of it at times. I wouldn't want to do it in this one because you can see she's all over the place. But for power tools, great. So if you just want a little handyman generator, you can chuck in the ute. Uh, these are nice and light. There you go. So if you see one, go and cheap, grab it. and. Uh, you can easily resurrect it and you've got a nice cheap little generator. 20 bucks. How could you go wrong?